And we're live. Hello to all eight people. Welcome to the stream that was not <laughs> advertised because we both got busy. We kind of forgot to tweet it out. Um, <laughs> Surprise! Well, we're here. You guys know we're going to show up at some point on a Saturday, I hope. Yeah. Uh, um, we're back. We're playing Dragon Age Origins again. Um, we're thinking we're going to go to Red Cliff. I think we kind of got our... Uh, all right, we got shale. We kind of did some warm-up stuff. We're, we're just about ready to start diving into the main sections of the story now, so. Yeah. Is there stuff on screen? Because there's not stuff on screen for me. There like is the nothing game. on screen yet. I got to launch okay. the game first. You have to be like, hey, buddy. <laughs> it's always nice if we actually launch Dragon Age Origins. Oh, okay. That's weird. What's wrong? Something on my other monitor was just freaking out. The screen was kind of scrolling by itself, and I was like, hey, it's not supposed to do that. Uh. Ooh, also, I should probably tweak a couple of things here. Like audio levels, because as we've established, the game will just get oddly loud for no reason. I mean, I don't. I can't listen to the sound uh, without dying. So <laughs> I don't know. Everybody, let me know how audio level sound throughout this. Um, otherwise, I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, it got it got the slightest bit, just the slightest bit cold in Texas, Katie, and everybody lost their shit this week. Let me guess. It got to fifty something. Oh man, we were all the way down to forty seven. It was bone oh, chilling. Damn. I tell. Oh man, let me tell you. <laughs> the girls were breaking out those knee-high boots real fast. They love oh, it. Boy. They love it when it gets below 50. Below 60, uh, hell. Yes, I like it. It's great. I, I went out for a run. Uh, I think it's, maybe it started Thursday or Wednesday or something like that. Mm -hmm. And my immediate reaction when I opened the door was just like, oh, what fucking witchcraft is this? Who did this? What's happening? Is this the start of Ragnarok? <laughs> like, what is going on? And then, you know, I, it getting cold. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, oh, it's nice. Oh, this is nice. It's not blisteringly hot all the time. So uh, it's a good spot. It's not too cold at all. Uh, someone has asked, uh, Jordan, have you ever had snow in your town? I have, yeah. Uh, it's very infrequent. Very, very infrequent. But uh, maybe a couple years ago, it snowed. And, you know, light snow, a few inches. Yeah. Um, you, We don't handle it well. Pretty much anywhere, you know, yeah. outside of North Texas, like anywhere else, uh, snow is not a common thing and ice is not a common thing and people just kind of, uh, they don't handle it well. Yeah. I, that was like, mul uh, what, uh, I said what multiple is like, okay, uh, incomplete being honest, I'm trying to grind in the Sailor Moon RPG right now and it's like so boring that i can talk through it but anyway um so i remember tulsa being like that if there was like a hint of snow like the whole town would shut down like whole town would shut down so i remember when i was in college and it snowed i was like all right no school tomorrow because i was in illinois and i was like what the fuck are you talking about uh -huh. <laughs> yeah yeah what do you mean <laughs> no school tomorrow uh and then i learned that salt trucks were Same a thing <laughs> so because Tulsa, at least at that time, they didn't really uh, have the salt trucks. That wasn't really a thing you had. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that was a fun realization. For anyone that's wondering what's going on on screen, I'm going to try and do some... We said we would do some crafting here while we allow time for people to trickle in. And I'm like, who's got... Okay, Zevran has level 2 poison making, mm -hmm. so he should be able to make fire bombs. Liliana right now only has level 1, so... Uh, Zevran, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> Zevran is going to be our resident. Oh shit! I'm not even sure if I bought the. Uh... Oh, the the recipe. Yeah, I don't even know if I have it. Let's step outside real quick to Zevran and see what we actually have. Would Bodan? Uh... Oh, that's a good point. Sell it. If there's anything I can do for you, he, he might sell I'm a sure you... things. Come on, Bodan! Come on! What do you got for me? Uh, he has crap. Aw, Bodan. Yeah, school in Wisconsin was rarely canceled unless there was a feet, was feet of snow. Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Like, if... Uh, how about half an inch of snow? I remember getting off of school because uh, it was mostly ice. And, like, just Tulsa is not prepared to handle ice. And so the city would honestly shut down. I hear it's gotten a little bit better because 
There was something like mm -hmm. the mayor a couple years ago, like we had a really bad ice storm. And so we were able to make some sort of deal to like transport salt trucks from like, uh, like Missouri, I think. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So like when, when Tulsa gets a lot of snow and ice, we will get like stuff from other states <laughs> to help us. What is still like there's travel ties? There's still like a couple yeah. hours of like, ah, fuck, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we have no recipe, so. Uh, oh, no shit. Well, there with that. Let me, make a, let me make a couple of lesser lyrium potions with Morgan just so she's well supplied. Oh, man. Where are you? Where are you cam why are you camping here? Did you take over the pearl? Um, No, this is uh, since we're a, a Kooslin, even though we're a dwarf. Uh, we, we have a summer home, so this is our summer home. We're a rich boy. Don't you know? So. Oh crap! Did I? God damn it! Auto loot turned back on. Now I have everything. Um. Yeah, it's gonna turn on every time you restart the game. So. I don't. Really? I don't. Okay, I don't want all of those things. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna reload that. <laughs> you know what? That's that's a uh, reasonable. Claude is a perfect business boy and got a good deal. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, like, my part of my part of my light role play for Claude was I wanted to make sure he was pretty rich, and we got thirty-one sovereigns as of right now, so we're, we're we're doing pretty well for this stage in the game. Yeah, I like how he's still wearing his starting armor, by the way. Like we. I mean, it's good stats, honestly, compared to the other stuff we're finding. I didn't even know it had stats, to be quite honest. It's actually pretty decent. So. I thought it was just clothing. Uh, well, more you know. Let's see. Uh, really? Is there no lyrium dust in this goddamn cabinet? No, well, there has to be a lyrium dust. There's uh, well, at least not I in this I, one. Yeah, yeah. There might be. Um, I think there's like maybe like a bag to the left with lyrium dust. If I'm remembering correctly. Elf root and lyrium dust. Ha! Huh, there we go. Let us take lyrium dust. All right, we'll take that. We have lots of flasks already. We'll say goodbye to Jinx there on the wall and. Uh, All right. Okay. Get everybody rolling. Beautiful. So, Jordan, have you been uh, watching... What's it called? Uh, the... Uh, well, do I, I guess, did you, did you watch the new announcement of David Gator's new game? Um, the announcement? No, I, well... No, I was watching his keynote and I didn't watch all of it. Was it in there? It was at the very beginning. So if you missed the very beginning, then then, that, you I, it. then I missed it. Yep. Okay. Uh, when I I not that it's bad and I still enjoyed it, but I did find it like oh I kind of wanted to hear more about the new game. It was like fifteen minutes a new game, and then the rest was like his writing experience, which was interesting. A lot of fun little Dragon Age facts, but yeah, I was like Indeed. oh I kind of wanted to know more about the game. So it's called Chorus. Um, it's a... Um, oh, kind of... I, I saw the graphic for it. I think he tweeted it out yeah. afterwards, and I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a um, said story-driven choice thing with romances where uh, you play as, like, a modern setting of Greek gods, and it's like a musical. Yes. And I'm torn on it, because, like, every... I, I, Here's the thing, and this is like definitely a it's it's not you, it's me type of thing. Mm -hmm. Not into musicals. This. Same. Yeah, totally the same. It yes. like I, I did a lot of like musical yes. theater in high school and I still have like war flashbacks from those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if I like every time I, I think of musicals, I'm just like, oh, the cringe. <laughs> I can't handle it. So like everything else about the game seems right up my alley, and then it's musicals, and I'm like, oh, but. <laughs> yeah, I gotta admit, when I saw it, I was just sort of like, yeah, I think that's gonna be a pass for me, I, and, and it's no knock on it whatsoever. I just I'm really not into the singing, so. Yeah, and like maybe it's good, and what I like, here's another thing. I feel like the only musical movies that I kind of liked the reason I liked it was like the dancing and like a lot of the visual spectacle. And like, I don't know yeah. how they're going to handle that in like a visual novel type of game, or maybe it's not that that's just what the, it kind of looked like in the, the, the preview. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just don't know how that's going to work. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued and I wish them well, but like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. What? No love for Sweeney Todd. No, fuck Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Fuck it! 
I haven't seen Into the Woods, and Phantom of the Opera is... I don't hate it as much, but God, no, fuck Sweeney Todd. <laughs> I, I have, I got love for Blues Brothers and fuck everything else. That's all I can say. I guess Blues Brothers is a musical, uh, yeah. Blues Brothers is cool, man. I don't... I'm, well, if I, it, if it, I mean, the if, movie's fine. I just, I, I just never thought of it as a musical, more like a... If a it doesn't comedy. count, if it doesn't count, then I like, then I like no musicals. <laughs> I'm willing to accept that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like honestly and here's here's how bad maybe i don't like musicals maybe the only musicals i like are like disney musicals <laughs> like the because i like animation like i really liked beauty and the beast as a kid like that kind of bullshit uh-huh um i like the movie white christmas which probably no one's gonna know it do you know what movie that is no it's like it has like <laughs> it has like bing crosby in it like it's one of those ancient movies and okay. it's technically a musical, but, like, the basis of the musical is that they're in show business. And so, like, they do singing and dancing. So then, and they're practicing for a new play. So the musical is just every once in a while they'll do one of their numbers. And it's, it's not really, like, an in-universe talking about what's going on for the story for the most part. It's just like, hey, we're going to sing and dance about minstrels. Fuck it. So <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. All right. I, and it's, like, a Christmas movie, and I watch it with my mom a lot. So, like, I liked that, but... Here, we should probably play the game and not talk about musicals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of managing people's tasks. Oh, okay. Single jiggers and everything, so, uh... High School Musical, girl, please get out of here. High School Musical was awful, unless you count it as a comedy. It was not a good movie. I don't... No. No, it was not. I had to sit through all, like, three of those movies, or two of them. I don't even remember how many I saw. It was not good. Any of you, anyone who who likes that movie is either young enough to have nostalgia for it or just has Stockholm Syndrome, and I will stick by that. I, I've, this has never happened, oh. but Claude is stuck. He is too fast for his own good. His short little oh. legs have carried him up the side of a hill, and he can now not get off. Oh, shit. Well, maybe uh, control someone else to get out. Yeah, we're just going to have to do that. All right. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this party, except not with dog. Um, <laughs> Pigeon crap. Yes. King and I. Now, I haven't seen King and I, so I'm not going to shit on it, but. I like how Shale straight up says Pigeon crap when you unequipped her out <laughs> of the party. All right. Um, yeah, I think off to Red Cliff Village we go. Katie, how can you not appreciate the cinematography and drama of Bed on It? All right, it's funny. I get it, but it's still not good. I haven't seen Hamilton. Because, uh, like, More Hamilton time. came out way after I was like, you know what? I don't like musicals. <laughs> so I never really bothered with it. Yes. Uh, all right, Herlock Alpha, you are going to get frozen to the face. Start off with at least. Use a little bit of acid flask. As you like. Oh, thank you. Hello there. I hope you do well in drama school. Does Shrek 2 count as a musical? Go on. Is there a musical number in Shrek 2? <laughs> oh, no, it does have that one I number. I, I wouldn't count it, I guess. Rocky Horror... Actually, I have not seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. But again, I feel like that's more comedy than... Maybe I'm because I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, I think certain music, uh, certain movies have musical numbers, but they don't count as a musical. Yeah. Just because they have a dance number. I have heard of the Shrek musical. I have not seen that. Though. Like, there's an actual Shrek musical. I did see some of the costumes, and Jesus. Oh, I did watch um, the Wicked musical. Uh, my mom got us tickets to see it when it came in Tulsa. Um, it's not good, but it, God, it was so much better than the book. I don't know. I, maybe I've ranted about this, but have you ever read Wicked the book? No, no, I have not. God, it is. It's not so good, huh? Bad. <laughs> no, I, I used to like, cause I read it in high school and like, cause I was a big reader back then. And like, I told a friend one time, it's like, I feel like, cause it, it it's like the whole life of the Wicked Witch of the West. And I told my friend, it honestly feels like I'm waiting a whole lifetime to read this guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was so boring. Ah, uh, you're like, when, oh, is, when can God. someone just drop a house on me and be done with it? Well, the best part was when they got like a little bit saucy because you know I'm like 16. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> <laughs> like after that, it was like politics, and it wasn't. It was like fake politics, you know? Sure, yeah. It was like, oh, the animals are people too. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. It's like an allegory or something, but like, it, it's not. I don't. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, um, can we expect yeah. anything in particular the weird in Redcliffe mod wise? Have you come to help? Yes, us? but not for a little bit. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to. Okay, I know we're we're playing Claude as like super asshole, but we do want him to save Redcliffe, which sucks. I know, but there's a reason for it. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I can get behind that. He's uh, yeah. he's uh, it's his ego. He just wants to be able to save the town and say he saved the town. Yeah, there you go. He wants to. Maybe he's uh, running for president of Thetis, and so he. he, he wants, you know, he is he is a noble after all. This is what noble people do. They ride in and save the common peasants. <laughs> Oh fuck! Maybe we are on the campaign trail. And we're gonna try to marry I'm not Anora. Stopping you or anything? Can we do that? Have you even? Because we're technically what's a Kuslin. Here? Yeah. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh, he freak. He could technically. Yeah, I don't know if the game's gonna register that or not. To be quite honest. I say we aim for that though. It'd be well, great yes, to be I like, hello. So. <laughs> I'm Claude. If you're coming Welcome. into the village, you can't avoid uh, what's happened. <laughs> We're vote vote attack. for me at the next land meet. Monsters come out of the castle every <laughs> night and attack us until dawn. <laughs> Claude 2020. <Everyone's> fighting <laughs> oh, boy. Dying. Oh, I guess it's Claude it's 9 surprise. 4. What year is it again? I remember anyone. one time I randomly oh. said the year well, of like a rather dragon age and you mocked Can't me endlessly because I was like 20 years off. <laughs> well, you were about to say 40, so you're only 10 years Marvelous. off. It's okay. 930. We've no army to defend us. No all and no king to send us help. Oh, Cats the Musical so also many sucks. Are dead. I'm, which and I will say I'm so excited for the movie because it looks so bad. I you to oh TV. man, those graphics were appalling. <laughs> I'm so excited for, for He's memes just over to come there out with that. Oh, no. Jesus. Come. Oh, and Rent? Fuck Rent, man. <laughs> oh dang, Katie is just going for the jugular on all of these. <laughs> rent is so bad. I don't get that movie at all it's like oh god no I'm, i can't I, I mean none of it is really my i mean none of it is my cup of tea for sure um but uh it, to me it's one of those things where i know what's up with the statues in the back that's what's not that vanilla <laughs> thomas that's sculpture yeah. and who are these people well I, it's gonna have to uh catch up travelers. a little bit what sculptures are you oh, talking about it's like the small I, well, I wooden one behind no, uh tegan I just arrived and oh I no that's vanilla bro that's just well done, uh thomas. been Greetings, retextured friends my name is tegan ban of rainosphere yeah. brother to the arm tegan's got a soul You're patch a rather unusual group or to a say the non-normal i ask who you are and why you've come yeah he i think his sideburns something like that well, yeah, the, the, the beard, and I think the face is, like, less nosy. Interesting, interesting. All right. Uh, sure, yeah, I'm, I'm Claude. My business is my... No, wait, hold on. I came here to see the Arleman. <laughs> You're here to see my brother. I see. Is it important business? Uh, well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. Uh, no, of course not. I'm here on a whim. I'm going to take that as sarcasm. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> I'm here on a whim. Cute. I would laugh, except this is no joking matter. The Arl is gravely ill. What a remarkable coincidence. No Holy shit, Zev Ran said days. something, no but fucking Robo Dog is right no in her way, so it looked like the show. dog was saying it, and that just the made the fucking voice even better. <laughs> Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I hope we can hurry up and save this village quick. I want to get to Isolde, because that's the best part of Redcliffe. Yeah, you don't have to, like, do all of the prep work. There's only, like, two things you have to do, and then you can just do whatever, and, like, everyone dies. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, every, yeah, it, it can be rough. The one thing that I... Well, hold on, let me... Tegan, what, yeah. are, you, what are you talking to me about, Tegan? Um, fucking... What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the Walking Dead. Decomposing corpses Women. returning to life. Oh, how dare you! First of all, how dare you? <laughs> they hit again the next Has that cancel Katie. <laughs> they come greater numbers. God, women are the worst, right? <laughs> Logan starting a war over the throne. No one responds to my urgent You know, calls that only help. works. You're, you're very, you, you are, you're fortunate. You can totally say that as a joke and people know <laughs> that you're joking. Help yeah. There's, there's not, that doesn't work for everything. <laughs> yeah, I, 
I, that definitely is true. I, I think women can do that. That totally works. If I start talking shit about Mexicans, people are going to get suspicious. doesn't matter how Mexican I am, <laughs> does it? That's true. Yeah, unless you have an extremely thick Mexican accent, people yeah. are going to say, how dare you? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, what are we saying? Yeah. Uh, first, I have questions. By all means. Uh, I've heard enough. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, why don't you just evacuate people? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. I always felt that was a really video gamey sort of answer. Like, you can't evacuate them because they just perfectly catch everyone trying to evacuate. I mean... It doesn't matter. You get to do a big defensive red cliff. I remember thinking this was really cool the first time I went through it. Yeah. I'd like defend of you know, like defend against the onslaught. It's kinda of, it's kinda of fun. Um isn't there a way into the castle to get at the source? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. And what happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. All right, bro. Sounds good. Then you will help us? Uh, very well. I will help. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means oh, more fuck. to me than you can <laughs> Just... guess. It's been a while oh, since I've seen Claude, what you know what I mean? Then I, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen <laughs> fucking Morrigan. Like, now Morrigan is just much ridiculous. To do oh. falls. I put two Jesus. men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Oh, yeah, so we're going to get to talk to Zaid. Knights is just up the cliff at the windmill, Zaid. watching the castle. Yeah, Zaid, Murdoch. You may discuss with them the preparations oh, that's the same for the coming actor? Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, to me, it's like, I mean, it's probably just because I'm so used to Zaid, right? Like, I've played it a dozen times, but I'm like, holy shit, that's fucking, he has one voice, apparently. It's like, uh... It's kind of like Bailey a little bit. Mm -hmm. After yeah. Bailey, it's like they kind of got the one thing. Um, uh, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. That's so interesting <clears throat> how you can go, like, well, there's, there's another thing. I have to tell you I'm a great warden. I forget. Like, I guess you Let you could just talk to him without, without ever art thou who exists in the admitting that you're a great warden. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who see you are it's a stranger like a really amongst us, loud bang yet you still agree to defend our oh, village there? in its darkest yeah, hour. Yeah, I don't know if it picked up on my. We are most grateful. No, I did not. I, at all. I yelled I fuck because it. it scared me. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Do you live on the first floor? Oh, or... uh, yeah, first floor. That's uh, that's the bold move right there. Yeah. I don't think it was anything like you know actually scary. It was just like a really loud. Yeah, what was that? Michael's coming. <laughs> Do you know what that was? <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound like... Oh, I guess it is in a weird spot, but, like, it did... I don't know. I hadn't seen anyone by there, so maybe that they ran off. Oh, maybe. Stop pressing you know, F. Sure. Nobody is... People are pressing <laughs> F in the chat room. Everything's fine. Just relax. Hi. <laughs> oh, God. What if we got swatted? Jordan. Wouldn't that be weird? No, jo no, Jordan, it would not be weird. That'd be horrific. I mean, it would be what are you well. Talking about? I mean, it would be worse for me. I'm brown. You never know what could happen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I hate to buy, I hate to play into stereotypes. I appreciate police officers and all that stuff. I'm just saying, every now and then, those dudes get a little itchy. Okay. <laughs> oh god uh, all right any 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 law enforcement that happens to be listening right now fucking you guys Ooh. are still cool too i like you all right, all right. <clears throat> um uh keep your gratitude i need nothing from the chantry the maker smiles on those who aid his children regardless of their beliefs but i do not wish to irritate you allow me to introduce myself I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for <laughs> poor villagers. 
So, Sola so just got here. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, nothing. Not we we might safe. get swatted in hands up. Don't, do oh, I don't, don't even jinx us, please. That would, on, that would how, honestly scare me enough would, to never do anything. I, mean, I thought the people that got swatted is because, like, well, you got to know where they live, right? Yeah, from what I, well, there's there's different like tracking IPs for Made stuff you posted or child. like talking. Uh, like, there's there's a whole people track them down. List. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, still, I don't even want to like put the thought in people's mind. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got I got to tell you, I, I would notice right because like anytime I have anything delivered, my apartment is in a really weird spot in my complex, and nobody can find it. And, and it's really, really weird. So I imagine the cops would be circling around with sirens on for like 10 minutes before they actually got to my apartment. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, did we pick up the thing for Jetta in the wild? Probably These not terrible right now. Times. Uh, uh, I, mean, I don't think we... I doubt we did. And then homegirl over here in the corner. First of all, everyone's outfits are bugging out. Oh, shit, yeah. The textures are getting... I have no idea what that is. We have so much bullshit in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if it, the memory is just full, but it might also be. I don't know. Sorry. Am well, I there's a lot of things that be going on. I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Ah, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> good, good. I'll leave you to your sniveling. I'll just stay out of your way, sir. Yeah, that's the real haunted story. Textures are possessed today. Uh, I love. Oh, that's so cold blooded. I go goodbye. I'll leave you to your sniveling. Morgan approves plus two. <laughs> God damn, Morgan, don't play. I'm still gonna walk in there and do that thing because you mentioned to the, the. Was it on a podcast recently about the kid and the sword? Yes, but no, I don't remember what I said about it. Just how you thought it was interesting yeah, that you could like uh, use the sword and then give it back to him and all that stuff. Yeah, well, that's a very nice thing to do. I'd imagine he, he stole the sword. Well, maybe he'll keep the sword. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Okay, you're, you're back from the you're castle, Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. God yeah, damn, it's so Zaid. <laughs> he looks a bit different, I think. All right, let's talk to him. So you're the fellow who's here to help. Mind if I ask what makes you so special that you think you'll be able to help us? I actually feel like he's a bit modded here. He actually looks more like him. Um, yeah, he's definitely modded. Because uh, I'm a skilled warrior, that's why. I'm not special at all, really, because you respect Van Tegan. Uh, look, I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting <clears throat> without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. <laughs> Flukas in the chat says, Claude says he's a blood mage, Wind disapproves, minus 10. Claude kills Wind, Morgan approves, plus 10. <laughs> uh, you know, that is one thing I would love to see more of in, in Bioware games is more infighting. Like, I like, uh, I like a little bit of Legion versus Tally or Jack versus Miranda in... And Mass Effect 2, I, I would really love for like, and, and they have it a little bit in um, Mass Effect Andromeda, um, but it's just so, it's so, uh, how do I, how do I put it, so petty between, uh, oh fuck, you're a Solarian pilot and, uh, oh. and you're engineering. Oh my god, Gil and... Yeah, Gil and... Uh, Callow. And Callow, not Joker. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, what are we doing here? Is nobody else? Nobody else can do repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? Uh, why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, why Valena, his is one of the Alessa's maids. God, I'm worried so about this he hasn't heard from her Did you have to re-download it or anything? Started. Uh, he demanded no, and it's back. Castle, and it's break back. down the gate and force our way in. Uh, I said it was impossible, like but a... he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy I wonder if it now. is just a memory problem. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Because if it's a memory problem, then that's like a four gigabyte patch thing. But I thought you already had it on there. We did, yeah. We do have it on there. <clears throat> we, we might just have so much shit it's bugging out on us, honestly. It, it could be that. I, I've had that happen with my uh, with Mass Effect 3 where it you could naturally especially with texture memories you can naturally draw more than four gigabytes and a lot of times it'll crash so i'm mm -hmm. actually kind of surprised we're not crashing just save very frequently <laughs> uh is there anything else you need zaid murdoch 
We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Uh, all right, well, I mean, tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. <clears throat> I see. Uh, all right, well, carry on then. Right. Let's hope we see morning. All right, homeboy uh, needs to help repair shit. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Oh, I don't know if I got it or not, but I know at one point I wanted to get a mod where you can buy the bar from um, the the bar guy in this town whose name I forgot. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you, you want to try that. Uh, wait, is that installed? So you're saying that one's in there? I don't know. There's might a be. Lot. Might There's be. A lot <laughs> uh, wait, is this Owen, the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Oh, huh? who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Uh, well, I'd rather not speak through a door. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Oh. Off you go. Claude's persuasion skills definitely did not work there. Please, I just want to talk to you. Mm. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't know why you're so determined. The second attempt yeah, is just I'll so much more successful. He seems like so easily convinced. He's drunk. He can't, can't That's blame true. Me. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Uh, I well, uh, my name is Claude, uh, Grey Warden helping Bantigan. A Grey he Warden has like a rock is it? Texture <laughs> on him. It it's really quite pies. strange. Anyhow, yeah, man, my name's is... Owen. Though you These might people are slowly know turning that. to stone. That's what. Let's join me as I get besotted. Or is there something in particular you wanted? Ah, <clears throat> uh, phew. Smells, smells like a brewery in here, it does. I've been drinking since I got up this afternoon. That makes, um, three days, maybe more. So I take it then the smithy's closed? Look around. The militia took everything they could use. I could start up the forge again, but I won't, since Murdoch won't listen to me. Hmm, uh, okay, well, uh, I mean, look, the militia couldn't have taken everything. Everything that they could find, sure. Walked in here and took it all right off the walls. Ah, uh, so why have you locked yourself in here, then? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or <clears throat> anyone. Huh. All right. Uh, so I I I'll rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe oh, someone you? like you. I mean, he doesn't know that. <laughs> provided any of us live through the night. Uh, yeah, and what if she's dead? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. That, all right, I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. <laughs> what a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her, that you'll bring her back to me if you can. Uh, yeah, you, you got it, buddy. I promise. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. in the me. chat with the quickness. I aspire to insult people as eloquently as Morgan one day. You ain't wrong. And also, the animation and her face being ridiculous just makes it even better. Uh... So here's a 
question people keep throwing around. What are we going to do with this? I you'll need in there. <clears throat> but it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush I mean, when I filled it up. We got a punchy sold, right? <laughs> well, here here's my my thinking. If we were going to go the route of kill Isolde and go into the Fade and save Connor, the, the funnest one would be possessed Connor, but I don't think we can actually do that without a Mage Warden. Or am I, Can you do it with, with the Morrigan? I don't actually know. Oh. I know Jowin was like, nah, I don't, I don't want to possess Connor. But I don't, I don't know if Morrigan has those same opinions. I don't <laughs> know, and that's a, that's a good, that's a good uh, question. I'll Google that, actually. I, don't, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. Possess Connor would be pretty weird, but I also think kill Connor, punch his soul in the mouth might be kind of uh, fun for Claude. I mean, it's fun, but it's, like, really brutal, does, too. Does he so. punch her in the knee also? Like, how does he reach? I'll just be honest. <laughs> That's actually, he jumps. <laughs> really good jumper. He stands on the chair. <laughs> There's a stool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, Let what? I didn't know that. You. Hold on. I have the key. Fort Connor. Oh, apparently Connor was named after his grandfather's lover, a man whom his father Eamon came to know as a father. I well, I I didn't know that. That's <clears> quite <throat> weird. There you go. Um. All right. Well, Owen's back on board. Let's uh, let's go talk to Dwin. My house smells like pie now. That's a good thing. Pro that is not the a problem bad thing. Is, no, it's it's a bad thing because I can't have fresh pie. I have to wait <laughs> for the finish uh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you want to give it a good amount of time to cool down. It's a, no, no problem. All right, let's see how this goes with Dwin. Uh, hello? No one answers. Uh, well, we'll try knocking then. Still no one answers. Uh, yeah, we'll try lockpicking. Oh, I think, okay. I know what this is. And now we're breaking the lock. It happens. Wonderful. Intruders. Oh boy, okay. I Textures are getting even worse. For breaking and entering into my home. Oh boy, I can't wait. Oh man, okay. Oh no, all right. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. This is just what we're going to be doing, huh? Uh, all black. They are, they are really, really emo. Uh, Murdoch says he needs your help for the militia. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Uh, your chances are better out there than in here. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. I feel like uh, I'm just going to end up paying him. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you can only do a possessed Connor if you play a mage. So that's out of the window. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, how about gold? I'll hire you to fight for the village. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. I'm rich. I won't even stick my head out my door for less than a hundred silvers. A <sighs> hundred silver. You know what? It's a deal. You're getting off easy there. But like you say, I guess this town needs a hero. You better be out there, too, when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? All right, Dwin, in the bag. Money makes the world go round, people. You're, like, actually going to save Redcliffe. You're putting way more work into this town than I would have. Ouch, what do you have against Redcliffe? Well, I mean, like, for this type of place. <laughs> like, You're like, let him burn. Let them burn. Look at them. Their fashion's all glitched out. Who cares about them anyway? Yeah, we need more character. We need less character assets. Let it go. How original. 
The swamp witch has the same mm. arrogance, oh, this is priceless. the same air of cruelty. I would hate for it to Oh, do we end up with any shale mods? Rod. Fuck. No. Uh, worth, someone did send me one. Fluka sent me one. What you can um, do but I have to test it out because I'm not quite sure if it's going to work because we already have shale in our party and I don't know how work, the mod works. Want control over me? <clears throat> it's not like a retexture, so we, if we already met shale, it might be you to go and jump in a lake. A very deep lake. It fools no one. The Swamp Witch would control everything if it could. It would have us all dancing on its strings. Shale talking shit oh, to Morgan. Well, Gollum. Your revealing gaze has laid Love me it. there. I will be watching the Swamp Witch. It will not be trusted. <laughs> <sighs> now you're beginning to sound just like Alistair. It's so great because she's totally antagonizing her, but Shale is so much... I mean, look, I love Alistair, but Shale is so much smarter than Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, Shale's actually got the wit to kind of go back and forth with Morgan. It's it's really fun. Um, oh, of speaking it. of which, I mean, now the episode's out. Uh, Split the Veil, uh, episode 46. Everyone's got, well, most people, I guess, have got a chance to listen to it, so they know our ratings for all of our favorite Disney oh, yeah. favorite characters. You did seven <clears throat> dirty. So I have been thinking about that, and we've gotten, there's been such great fan feedback on this, a lot of people sticking up for Zeverin. I did re-listen to the episode, uh, and I, I kind of tweeted out how I think I also kind of did Alistair wrong on his gameplay rating. Uh huh. So giving Zeverin some second thought, I do not think that Zeverin deserved the one on character. <laughs> so I'm going to officially change my rating to a zero. Oh, shit! <laughs> Okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just wanted to. <laughs> wanted to are you actually going to change your rating? Or are you just fucking with me? No, people? I just wanted to poke some more fun at Zevran. <laughs> <laughs> Zevran, I, I, people really went to bat for Zevran, and I, and I do got to give people props because I, I know Zevran's such a popular character. Oh, man. Oh, how would you rate these modded companions? Uh, well, Zevran definitely gets points for, for the uh, originality. It means uh, something. I'll say that. Why did I come into the tavern? Uh, oh, to try to buy the bar off of what's his face. That's true. What the hell happened to that lady? Oh shit! Everyone's Her. walking fast. Number one. Well, that that's always a thing. But like this one lady. Hello, that friend. Like. Can't say we've ever met before. Uh, the, the armor is Strange definitely. Village, I take it. Haven't some had many travelers troubles. lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Oh, I think that was Bella. But you regret coming, yes? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but let's do business. What do you mean? I'll be leaving shortly. Not at all. Uh, if I say let's do business, that just opens up the trade menu. Right. I'm pretty sure. Some supplies. Yeah, too, I don't know if I actually have enough, But something to look into. If we do. Down. It doesn't hurt I don't know to pick up some of the slack. Uh, hey. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, what do you got? I'll always take more health poultices. We are rich after all. Uh, oh, here we go. Now some recipes. Thank you. <laughs> Jordan, just say you want a sugar daddy Ogren mod, says Bosa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh, God. Well done. I like it. Uh, oh, we can also bust Homeboy over here. Not looking for company. Get old Berwick on our side here out of guilt. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. No, let's do uh, Strange uh, seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel? <laughs> uh, sure they are. Just curious, that's all. I'm not here to talk. <laughs> You're simply here to act suspiciously. I take it? What? I'm not it's acting very suspiciously. Oh? Now that was convincing. Look, I don't know you, and I don't want to. I'm not... I mean, I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. Is that Atten? I'm sorry, what? Is that Atten? Is Berwick Atten? Is it the same voice At actor? Atten ran from uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Oh, I don't I don't remember that character, so I don't know. Uh Oh, chat room, help me out. Berwick from DAO and Atten. Is that the same person? Because now I desperately want to Google it. Um, I mean, uh, I can Google it. I'm not going anywhere. So Wait, what does this guy just say? Uh, he was told to. That's right. What do you mean? Uh, what were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. So Just because by you're a Grey Warden Clark, doesn't so mean you can go around videos. threatening people. Cam Clark, it's Sky from Jade Empire. I barely remember Jade Empire. Um, I remember Sky. But it's Cam Clark, apparently. 
Yeah, give me a moment. I'll look through the. I don't. I don't think I. I think, I'm pretty sure it's not Atten, but it sounds similar. When did Kotar come out? 2005. Okay. Well, Kotor 2 came out in 2005. Uh, he was in Knights of the Old Republic, Kono Nolan, Sith Diplomat, and Turwin. Interesting. Okay, so not Atten, but. Well, he, there, apparently there was others. It just doesn't list those others. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, Atten is one of your party members, so that probably would have been on there if it was him. Now, his big role was in Barbie Princess and the Popper. Oh, interesting. And he's been in a lot of stuff. Alex uh, Raffia says, sadly, Atten's actor hasn't done much since KOTOR 2. That is sad. He, was, he did quite a good job. Um, let's see here. Persuade, this will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. I don't want trouble. I, I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. All right, you stop right there and answer my questions or else. All right, all oh, right. Oh, he's I'll Heron of Heron and Wade just in Dragon Age. Don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just... How can anyone stand castle, being interrogated by Claude with those change. fucking eyes? But they never said anything about monsters. I don't know. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck. Same as you, I swear. Uh, who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. <clears throat> He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, and what were you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that... Monsters started coming from the castle. Jess B says, Claude's eyes remind me of a caged animal. You're not wrong. I agree. Uh, how do you know, uh, how do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Uh, I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. All right. We got an archer. We got Dwayne. We got gear. Um, the guys don't need to get drunk. Does that help? Does that actually make things worse? I've, I've always wondered because they make it sound like it's almost going to make it worse. I thought it actually gave them like morale. Yeah, some buff to a stat or something. Maybe I made that up. They don't need booze. <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. It's whatever. Um, we do have to talk to Sir Perth. I oh, think. that's right. Um, Sir Perth. Like that's and, a requirement. And then also there's the. Uh, we can just walk over real quick to the barrels. Barrels. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> I like how it's Geralt's voice. And he just goes, hmm. <laughs> I'm too old to wander the world, isn't that one of them? Yeah, yeah. Too old. Claude, you're 20. <laughs> how old do you think Claude is? A hundred. <laughs> that boy's got some miles on him. Oh, God. Have you seen those eyes? Have you seen what he sees? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, let me just check in with Murdoch well, real quick. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore. However long that is. All right. Uh, yeah, still need to talk to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. Uh, all right. Painted 
Oh, that's right. And then Perth wants to do hickeys from Mother What's Her Face. Yeah, so you gotta go to Perth, and she says, he says, I want the do hickeys, and you gotta oh, go back. Oh, wait, hold like, on. Oh. Is Sir Perth yes, Geralt? Oh, what? Greetings to you. Oh, come I'm on. Curious about the stranger Why have you done this? Defense, <laughs> Why have I done I any of this? Reasoning. You are obviously oh, far. man. What are you doing? I didn't, that's a, like a legit mod, too. I didn't do much of that. That is, is special. Wow. And it's specifically for Sir Perth. Yeah. Why would anyone think of this? I don't know, but it's our daddy, because we sound like him, right? <laughs> oh, daddy, hello! Uh, how about that Witcher 1 playthrough, Katie? How's that <laughs> coming along? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> medallions humming. <laughs> well, that's why he wants medallions. That's why they made him Sir Perth. Oh, you know what? I can, I can see that, yeah. You have to go get the Witcher amulets from Mother what What's Her Face. Uh, oh, he asked us if we should call him Lord, and yes, I, or if he should call us Lord, and uh, yeah, that would oh, be definitely. proper, as I am a turn son. Very well, then, my lord. Then we probably will be able to marry Anora. I am Sir Perth, <laughs> until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil oh, assaults. Oh, my God, his armor. Would that I had chosen not to this is getting worse. Redcliffe is cursed. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever <laughs> Every time the angle the changes, castle, too, it kind of goes back and forth. Would be dead. Yeah, I, I don't... Will, with I don't really know what's up, favor, to be honest. Perhaps all is not yet lost. <laughs> Someone said diet, Geralt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, diet, Geralt. Uh, is it gluten-free, Geralt? Is that what it is? Um, <laughs> uh, have, well, let's let him know about this. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Uh, enough to set some monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. A fine tactic. Provided it actually kills them and you don't end up having to deal with flaming undead. Yes, excellent. And why is like the inside I'll of that cauldron just oil. like? We'll use it to slow these Whoa, creatures down. What angle is that? Just like else to the dog. In the meantime? What? Okay. Anyway, but yeah, the the inside of his pauldron is like a prism or something. I don't know why it's so colorful. Oh, the inside of Sir Perth's pauldron? Yeah, it's like rainbow. I don't know. Is that supposed to be like the normal map where it's supposed to be like showing some kind of difference to light? I don't know what's going on, to be quite honest. Um, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, look, first of all, it's Geralt of Rivia. He's Sir Perth. He's wearing an armor that doesn't have any texture. No one knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Sir Perth, is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Hmm. Uh, all right, well, I'll see what I can do. That gladdens <clears throat> my heart to hear it. As you wish, my lord. May go watch over you. Why is the face texture the only one that works? I honestly am not sure. It might be something to do with the clothing texture, not like it's definitely saying the clothing textures, but it might be like clothing textures are really complicated. Like face textures, it's just the face textures on the head and that's it. But like with clothing textures, you have there's like a couple different what is it you versions need, of it. Like you have the you have like the the close up and the far away one. Mm, so I don't know if like is. Yeah, something's conflicting, <clears throat> and like that's why it changes color for every whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not quite sure. Uh, all right, Mother Cranky Face. Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Uh, well, you're not praying hard enough then. <laughs> You do not understand. 
the path believed that I Man, dra protect them against Dragon Age Origins the gave you such uh, like such an opportunity to just be an asshole, path. which I really don't think is that. Like Dragon Age Two, you can be pretty snarky at times. I am no mage, and the well, there's some there's some pretty bad ones, but they're rare. Where I feel like Origins is be. like they're pretty consistently. <laughs> yeah, you always <laughs> have, you almost always have the option to be a total dick to people. Yeah, there's really not that many of them in Inquisition. So I kind of wish four kind of goes like leans into the asshole where you can do that a lot because uh, you're gonna be in Tevinter, you know, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna punch back if you will. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the harm in giving them hope? You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Uh, but if they think it helps them. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men yeah, this need lady to find is just confidence not being helpful and Claude own. is I, not I very persuasive. I simply won't lie to them. <laughs> now, please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. She doesn't want to give up those Witcher medallions. Like, she paid a lot of money on eBay to get those, man. <laughs> what is it you need, child? Uh... Yeah, no, she shut us down. Crap. Okay, well, child. Perth is going to have well, to do without. Yep. What's the worst thing you could do in Inquisition? Conscript people, maybe? Um, excluding stuff in the war table. Um, with maybe, I guess it, de it depends how you define worst. Like, would making someone try? Whoa, the building texture is starting to get weird. Oh, God, the little red cliff is falling apart. Oh, red no. Cliff, red cliff is basically melting. It really is. Um... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so, uh... Oh, wow, yeah, the more I look at it, this is... Oh, boy. I can't wait till we get to Denrim. That's gonna be... Oh, no. That's gonna be something. Also, the me. running fast does not help. No, it doesn't. Um, anyway, so m making people tranquil, that might be pretty bad. Of Red Cliff are ready um, to fight you can at punch your a lot of your companions, but maybe that's really not the worst. Solus, Solus's reaction to getting smacked kind of makes it feel worse. Oh, it's such a weird animation when he it, like it, <laughs> it. It's weirdly effeminate to where I was like surprised by it. Yeah, like, like they like, they really put it on kind of thick. Yeah. Now Dorian also gets punched, but I feel like you don't see his reaction as much. Right. Um. <clears throat> Uh, all right, what are we, uh, you said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Can't we, uh, we can't lie to him. That sucks. Uh, Mother Hannah does not believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The maker will not help the charges is pretty bad. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, but even, but even that, I feel like you could make up a lore reason that, like, it makes sense why you do it. Yeah, I think I did that on my first playthrough. I think it was more just kind of like you're not you're not killing them. Like they went on a dangerous mission, and they, this yeah. was kind of the call you had to make. Oh, killing the Elven Sentinels for no reason. Yeah, I guess that one makes sense. I, I just really I think that like it's definitely obviously bad that you give Fen respect to Daenerys. You know, like that obviously. But I can't really think of anything that obvious for Inquisition. Which is a shame, because like I think you know, from a narrative standpoint, they're trying to narrow it down so there's not such a broad, you know, span of ways that your character could be. And I get that, but it is also kind of nice to mm -hmm. to be able to role play like a like a legitimately bad or crazy character. Yeah. Um. Uh, what is your status? We retrieved more oil Single? from the village store. No, okay. <laughs> ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Uh, Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. That oh, the awesome fanboy. The worst choice is making it to the end of Iron. To be what fair, that's less a choice, and then the game just says, ah, eh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh... As you wish, my lord. Make a watch over you. Carry on. Uh, I think that we're kind of ready to make the stand, pretty much. Alright, let's do it, because then the fun thing happens. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh uh, no. It's alright, don't worry about it, man. 
All right, well, let's uh, let's make a not even a hard save. Let's make a harder save. Yeah. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. All right, Perth, let's do it. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned. Uh, yeah, now I'm ready. Now let's go. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Also, what level are we right now? I don't know. You're the one playing the game. Like, I guess I should probably check that. Does DIO level scale? You mean like, uh, oh, um, no, ish. It kind of depends. I think on, on what you're playing. Yeah. Uh, but Red Cliff is supposed to be one of the first things. I do. mean, I do have so. a magical kill all button if things get hairy. Also, it might have froze. Rip. Um, I can't tell. Nope. Wait, wait. We're going. Something's oh. happening. Oh. I Remember, think... this game just takes like forever to load. So that is true. So far, so good. We have cutscene. They're coming. Okay, that's good. Get to your positions. Make ready. You know what bothers me? Mm. Graphical glitches and pre-rendered cutscenes. Like, yeah. we just saw a bunch of faces where the faces were, like, tweaking out. And I, the one that always bothers me in Inquisition, because, like, it's so noticeable. Oh. Like, the very beginning of the game, when they're like, you know, oh, look at all the stuff the Inquisition has done at the very beginning. And, like, it shows, like, a book page flipping, but, like, the pages glitch into each other. Like, dude. It's like the very first, one of the very first pre-rendered cuts in the game. You yeah. can't get it right. It me nuts. Uh, also, I remembered, I decided to play this on normal, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure our crew is not really good enough to do that, so. Yeah, that was, I mean, you could change it to easy right now. Oh, we'll just have this. Got. All right, Zevran, let's get stabby. Yeah, the fire. Not quite there, huh? Yeah, it's sort of like weird rec orange rectangles. But like, you're probably still catching on fire. It's just not registering. Just not registering. Yeah. That's cool. R Redcliffe is slowly phasing in and out. Of That's the real power of, <laughs> of Connor. Yes. It's the most dangerous version of Connor we've had yet. I mean, we, like, oh, go we've been toying with breaking Dragon Age games since we started this nonsense. I think we are pretty close at this point. Yeah, that, that's what I like about Origins. It, you can really break it and it still kind of works. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Isn't like, that who, weird, like how games used to be that way? Yeah. Everyone, I leveled up in Sailor Moon and it only took me an hour. Thank you. <laughs> Oh crap, Shale and Zevran uh, are dead. Yeah, don't let anyone else die. Or more, more like... Is there anything, uh, like... I don't think you have any revive stuff, do you? Another I'm surprised there isn't like a modded item that's like, revive people, like a, like a healing mist does in Inquisition. I bet a mod to change the zombies into sexy vampires. If you could do it, I'd put it on. Do you think maybe a save, quit, and relaunch? Oh, probably. Um, but we're kind of. I don't know. We're doing all right, and it's kind of funny to see it all go to hell. Also, I mean, if we do, just want to take a moment to notice that fucking Morgan is so goddamn beast mode. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the thick of it a little bit. Sorry, Claude, you're gonna catch some AoE damage. Mages are OP in DAO in general. I agree. If you're not playing a mage in Dragon Age Origins, what's the goddamn point? 
You know, talking about mages, one thing that I would, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things that I would love to see come back. I would love to see, <coughs> excuse me. I'd love to see shapeshifting come back and actually be worth a damn, because shapeshifting is so mm. pointless. Yeah. And like, that was so cool in like the trailer and everything, but then you get Morgan and you realize like, there's no point in shapeshifting ever. She's way more powerful as a mage. Yeah, except unless you're doing speed runs. Apparently like, Turning into the that swarm of these the speed light. runs They're attacking is like the, barricade. the most important we need help. aspect or something. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that. Yeah, I was watching a lot of speed runs a while back ago of Dragon Age, and like, you can use the. Come on, things. we need Apparently to hurry! Like, I think it's like they have a smaller hitbox, so you can like work your way into like gaps in the levels to like get out of bounds and skip a lot of areas. Mm-hmm. So, and you're also, this the fastest, like, way to run around. So, fun facts. Um. <clears throat> uh, alright. Well, stage one, done. Uh, that actually went somewhat better than I thought. Woohoo! Yeah, well, let's see if you can, uh, keep everybody alive or someone's gonna... I say if they're gonna die, let them die. Uh, I've played it where to like try to make everyone like survive. Yeah. Especially you don't you don't have like a healer. <laughs> also bring back Arcane Knight. Eh, yeah. Or just like a two-handed warrior. If they don't have a blood, oh, that reminds me. Uh, blood Mage in GA4 must be a month ago. But what reminded me, I was looking through the uh, files of Inquisition because I figured out how to do that a while back ago. And um, I see. there's a lot of files and people who did as blood mages, but they don't have it in the game. And like a lot of necromancer abilities um, have like the base label of like blood magic. So I think at one point necromancy was supposed to be blood magic that got changed at some point. Yeah, well, the Mortalitazi being kind of featured would make that, I mean, it makes sense. This mm -hmm. is but like they, I, I think it's it's something like they probably realize that maybe it would work out story wise somehow. I don't even know because it still would be really fun. And then they, they decide to bring in the mortality to be like, oh, it's necromancy, not blood magic. But even even in files of like the descent, um, there's. Uh, do you remember that? I don't, know, I don't know how much you know the Descent DLC, but there's like a weird room with like puddles of blood and an arcane horror in it. No, I don't remember that. Okay, well in the Descent there's a room with a puddle of blood and arcane horror in it. And um, there's like stuff labeled in there that there was supposed to be a female blood mage living in that area, and you were supposed to fight like a blood mage witch. Um, but that got cut out for some reason, and they just placed an arcane horror in there. Interesting. So you, so you really feel like it was always planned, and they just had to cut it, for, or they decided to cut it for some reason? Yeah, probably. Which I don't know why. Like, every, like if they if they just probably changed the name Blood Magic, I'll think a lot more. Maybe it, like, because there's a lot of anti-blood magic in the game, they were like, look, it doesn't I really do make it. sense to have the Inquisitor be anti-blood magic, and then also be a blood mage. Like, maybe they did, they just found themselves in that, that pickle, and so they said, ah, fuck it, no more blood mage. It's necromancy! I don't know. That's how I kind of view it now. Mm -hmm. Well, I definitely do hope they bring it back in DA4. That's uh, sorely missed. Also, like, please, for the love of God, like a dedicated healing class that you can make. I kind of liked Inquisition's thing because I didn't like healers, but. Oh, healers are fun. It's an RPG thing. I am your death. Very well. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I just, I think I, I hate playing healers in general. People are debating if. Why well, are they debating? Because I see more people before that the divine has probably assassinated somebody. God, there's so fracking many of these. Yep, it's kind of annoying. Do you think it's a good thing that games are getting easier? Because I think generally games are getting easier. I don't know, like... 
it's weird that that's become a political thing. People are so silly as far as like whether or not a hard game is like some kind of statement. It's ridiculous. But I mean, just like I can see both arguments. Like I'm a busy adult, right? Like I don't necessarily want to yeah. play shit on the hardest thing anymore. I, I don't. I guess I don't care one way or another too much. But I know there's some people who feel like games used to be harder, and so that's better. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I can I can also appreciate when you play an older game and it's uh you know just the overall difficulty curve <clears throat> well I, w I do wonder if like part of the difficulty curve was once part of um arcade culture you're right <laughs> it's a good call out you're right where where like they wanted you to keep dying so you would take more coins it was like an early version of microtransactions and so when that started to not work because arcades died they were like well fuck, why are we doing this? so then they just made it whatever so like i feel like Maybe there's something like that in there, but like, I don't think it's a bad thing to make games easier. And like, as long as you have that option to make it harder for people who want it, like, fine. I like, I, what was it? Is it uh, Death Stranding where they said they had to basically a story mode? Everyone like lost their shit. Like, yeah, calm down. I'm gonna play it anyway. Who gives a shit? Like, <laughs> calm down. So, oh, the Raven. The Raven it, it lets you reset your points. So maybe don't do that. Oh, too late. I took the vial off its leg. Okay. And now uh, we're in a loading the... screen, and dear God, I hope this does not freeze. I, I mean, I try to warn you, but why did you even talk to the raven? I don't know. It was just a bird, Dawn and I was arrives, like, oh, my wait. Friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. We're victorious. <laughs> I don't know okay, what happened. Cool. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have oh, to thank Oh man, the for woman in the front today. with like the weird green hair. Without what their is heroism, to surely people. we would that all That guy has has the texture of the divine, himself, the maker not the divine, but the chantry outfit on his shirt. Oh hour. my god, this is Allow yeah, it's me to brown. Offer you this. What is going on? Redcliff is still phasing in and out. The one guy in the back, his armor just looks like a rock texture. Oh my god, yeah, what is it looks, going it, on? it looks like he's wearing a really bad, cheap shale Halloween costume. Kinda, like what is that even from? God, what is happening to this game? This game is slowly... But lord, uh, well thank you, Bantigan, I'm honored. Take also, you kept down. everyone alive, and apparently? I, I didn't get health. the audio, that's what people Let are saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And give honor to those wow, who that's actually a, kind of hard to do, so congrats to that. Claude is, uh, Claude is naturally proficient. Who is their maker. Wow. Long may they know the God, the woman with, like, the green shit. I, that might be a... God, what is happening? With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are now. able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay, all right. We are now out of the cutscene. Okay, so I would make a save just in case. Um, but there is a Dorvin women, I think, if we did everything right. That's going to be kind of on the way out. I want you to talk with them. Uh, all right, we got some dwarven women. Where? What do you mean on the way out? Uh, like if you were going to go up to uh, where you're going to meet Azold, there's like two dwarven women kind of blocking the way. Gotcha. We're going to talk with them. Uh huh. Okay, sounds good. Actually, if we could, I would like to uh, take a short break real quick. Use the restroom. And... Oh, cool. We will jump back. All right, I'll be back in like three minutes. Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Katie uh, is currently grinding Sailor Moon Hour. Um, in the past hour, I've gained one level. Uh, I need to gain like six more. Actually, probably more than that. Uh, it's great. I love Sailor Moon a lot, and I do actually like this game, but the grinding portion is really bad. So yeah, three minutes to prepare for a demise. Yeah, I don't know if it's demise. Uh, I do think Zevran's pro Zevran, excuse me. Uh, it's probably the worst of this playthrough. Everything else is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're doing an amazing game. Thank you. Uh, I missed yesterday's stream. Why are we grinding? Um, so we're grinding. Okay, so I, the episode before last, I said I was going to grind off screen. And when I tried to, I realized the level I was had access to was really not giving me a lot of XP. So I was like, fuck, I can't do this. So um, 
Which the irony is, is when I was playing on stream yesterday, uh, I found an area I had missed that gives more XP. So I'm, that's actually where I currently am right now. So I was like, oh, I could have done this in the meantime. Uh, but last episode was basically just grinding the entire time because I had such a weak party. And the, the pl I actually looked up a guide. I'm going to have to probably be level 35 to do the to do the level I need to do next. And um, I'm currently... My highest level is a 30. <laughs> Everyone else is a 20. Well, now a 25. Um, so, yeah, it's great. It's uh, really great. One level in an hour. Damn, that's some grinding game. Yeah, part of it's because my people are too high a level for the areas I have access to minus one area. And that area is too high level for them. So it's... I think when I get kind of too... 30 which is in like five more levels Ugh. i will be able to do it without suffering too much but we'll see who would win claude or the sailor moon dragon oh god probably claude uh well that's my life now this will probably be my life for the next two weeks i'm i'm honestly just curious if i can get this done in the next two weeks because i i don't know like I've had five levels now, and it's only been two days. Well, sort of. Gil, can you just play the game while pretending to be at your work computer talking to some patients? I know I could do it, because it's, it's, there's really not much to think about. It's just, like, pressing the same buttons over and over again, but... Michael, we have Katie, we haven't heard from Michael in a while now. He's, he actually disappeared on stream not too long ago, because there was a loud noise inside, and he came in to talk with me a bit. Uh, but he's good. He's good. He'll pray for Katie's sanity. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you have anything for me to watch, because I don't know what to do anymore, uh, maybe tweet it at me. Yeah, give me something to watch, because I, I I don't know what to do with myself. Usually I play video games for entertainment, and I had to do this. I already watched all the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star videos. I don't know what to do now. Oh, they're... Anyone else watching that series? I I don't know how I feel about either of those two people, but it's the, the overdramaticness I find fascinating. And a Mac. Hi, we're talking about uh, Jeffrey Star, sort of. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, he. I swear, he that guy's an alien. Yeah. So. Yeah, he do, like he looks strange, and then his life is like he's very rich, so it's like way over there, and I don't know what's going on. So it's like, who are? How do people live like this? <laughs> anyway. Wait, talk to the Dwarven women. God, Jordan. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I did. Did I pass him already? Yeah, you passed him. God. They're like right. They're like right at the start. Oh, oh they're no. right in my way. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm like, like right <laughs> in your way. All right. Uh, here we go. Jasmine and Phil ran our. All right, sure. Why not? Yep. Greetings, Great Warden. We were on our way to Ostagar until we heard the news of what happened there. We were hoping that some of the Great Wardens survived and would pass through Red Cliff. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, boy. So this is a mod that adds new companions. Oh. And it's voiced by people. <laughs> it sure is. Um, <laughs> why Why are you looking for Grey Wardens? Duncan visited Orzammar before going to Ostagar. After he left, the warrior's cast decided to send Silphernar to investigate the possible blight. I'm a fighter, and her guide for search. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, now. It's so true. This is, uh, well, first of all, hang on. Hang on oh, a second. Let me, let me just reel back the rant machine. So these are these are real people, right? Who who took the time yes. to make this and takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of guts to put yourself out and, there. And as Frozenberry said, for a 2009 mod, it's not even that bad. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. That being said, it did not age well. <laughs> it has it has not aged well. I mean, look, I like I like the um uh oh fuck, we have it installed. Uh, your homeboy, Gilmore. yeah, Gilmore. I like that mod, even though same thing. I listen to the acting and I go. It's a little rough, but it's really for somebody who just did that in a room. It's actually quite good. Mm. Um, 
No, I don't. I there's apparently three more people that we can recruit when we get to Orzammar, and I have not heard them yet. And I am so excited to hear what they sound like because apparently all five. This adds five female dwarven companions. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Now, the, remember when? Remember when I asked you to go to a wolf statue and choose female for everybody? That was this mod because you can choose to make them male or female. Gotcha. But the males, the males aren't voice acted; they're just silence. So that's why we're, we're, we're female with all of them. How interesting! All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, now that you've found Grey Wardens? Question mark. Sulfurnar has been charged with investigating the dark spot on the surface for the Warriors cast. So we want to travel with you. Uh, oh boy, all right. Well, I guess they're along for the ride now. Uh, yes, we can use all the help we can get. All right, God, I guess this screen really is going to get filled up, isn't it? I mean, we have, because uh, we have the Karma's Origins companion, which that's going to be... Uh, here, let me do a head count for this. Crap. I have a, one, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven new companions for that one. This one adds five. And then there are normal whatever, so we got collect them all like Pokemon, Jordan. Oh boy. Um. All right. Well, after that, uh, which I would probably, I don't know, the next in, in between Redcliffe and the next major one, we got to start uh, talking to all of these uh, modded in companions. Yeah, and see their that, quest lines. that might be a good thing. Yeah. So I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we gotta start going into the castle. I don't know if we'll have time to run through it. We might. We we won't finish, but we'll get pretty far. We can at least get to the, get to yeah. Connor and stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right, Fantigan. Uh, what you got for us? Oh, oh no, that's my favorite. Here she comes. Tegan! I completely forgot what she's gonna look like. All. I don't think it's horrific, but... Delay but... Things further. Tegan! <laughs> To enter the castle after the <laughs> no, bridge is secured, there is a secret passage here Tegan. in the mill, accessible only to my family. It's just hilarious because it sounds like she's saying Tigon. Like, Tigon! Oh. You cannot do this, Tigon! <laughs> At the end of a long day, I like to come home and have a cup of tea, but I look inside the cupboard and there is no more tea we have run out. And I said to myself, Tigon! <laughs> <laughs> that was like probably the purest joke we've ever had on this street. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tigon, where has all uh, the Tigon? <laughs> have you become uh. a dad overnight? What happened here? Oh, uh, that is peak dad joke. You are that welcome. Is peak dad jokes. <laughs> Congratulations to see you and your girlfriend on the little one. <laughs> Whew. Oh, man. Oh, God. All right. What are we saying to, 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 to Tegan? Why didn't you mention I, this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I make us breath. <laughs> Tegan. You're the maker. You yet live. He really does almost sound like that. You're alive. <laughs> How did you? What has happened? Oh God! What has happened? Yeah, she. Uh... I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return. What's up with quickly. her hair, man? And I. Oh boy. Need you to return the face texture actually—it's—it's it's a bit Alone. scary, but it's actually not kind of. It's it's a bit weird, but I am I'm actually in agreement on the vibe. That is actually the correct vibe for. Or like she's an she's an she's an older mom. Right, she's the Arlesian mom. She used to be a trophy wife. She kicked her her husband's kid out. <laughs> trophy wife. Like that's kind of I, I the vibe is actually correct. The hair is a little bit much. Oh, okay. Especially the color. It's, it's it's the color for me. I get the hair, but the the color is. <clears throat> mm -mm. Um. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need more of an explanation than that. What? I. Who is this man, Tigan? <laughs> Were it not for his help, Isold, I would not be here. I owe him my life. And we crush the heads of rude women when we feel like it. 
Just so you know. I'm also not digging, but like... Me, I, I would exchange choices. pleasantries, but... Oh, I love Shale for saying that she wants to crush her head. Please, Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within Our the castle. Shale. We must have some answers. <clears throat> I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much Girl, death. what? You must help him, Tegan. So it's like really cold where I am you today. If someone's uncle. air conditioning just reason turned with on. Him. Girl, what happened? Did I don't you know what else to do? <laughs> oh, interesting. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, so how cold is it there? Much colder than it is here, yeah? Oh, uh, let me... I don't know, actually. Let me... Uh... 30s, probably. 20s, maybe? No, not 20s yet, right? Look at the weather. Um... Uh, well, what about Arlima? Actually, it's, alive? it's 47 Please. right now, so now we're tied, Please. man. Oh, wow, crazy. No, I think it did so heat up uh, today when I was out. It felt, alive. it felt nice, honestly. Kept alive by mm -hmm. Something the mage unleashed. So far, oh, was, yeah, peak you know, Texas weather. 71 degrees, partly so cloudy. <laughs> that's, so uh, that's jacket weather in Texas. <laughs> that's, uh, this, is, no, this is beautiful, man. I love when uh, we get to like fall and winter and it's still in the, the 70s. I'm like, heck yes. Mm -hmm. This is our reward for suffering through the summer. Me to come for you, Tegan, because I begged, because God letting you know you're still his country help. after the blistering heat of hell you have to go for. Oh, is the mic consistently doing the, uh, the levels thing? Is it still doing it? It was doing it a couple times, gotcha. but... <clears throat> it, it is doing it more often than normal, I'll say that. Um, You know what I think does contribute to it is I think when I move away and then closer, I think that's what it's trying to do. What I'm kind of convinced it is, like, I think maybe your microphone does, like, a um, balance, auto balance mm. level or something. So when you get really quiet, it, like, tries to peak up the audio. But then when you start talking normally again, it goes, oh, shit, and then goes back Right. Down. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, uh, why was, yeah, hold on, wait. Why does Tegan have to go alone? He's old. For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order <laughs> your name every to time follow she me says when I return Tegan, to the I want castle. To chuckle. Tegan. I beg you not to. For <laughs> Connor's sake. Uh, why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I. I beg your because pardon. Because I was not. That's a very <laughs> pertinent accusation. Uh, yeah, not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. What if she was country Can't instead of like Tegan? You know what I mean? What more do I you want from me? It wouldn't be as funny. Me? It'd be kind of funny, Tiana, but it wouldn't not be have as much funny. Time. Like it has what to be. What if he thinks I'm betraying it? Yeah, the Orlesian accent is just Connor. really a gift. Is he <laughs> come back with me? <laughs> Must I get back? Because I. I have weird hiccups where it'll happen like once or twice within an hour. <laughs> then we're done. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he <clears throat> was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. All right, enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. Ah, uh, this is a mistake. Yeah, you're going to get yourself killed. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? <clears throat> we must confer in private before I return to the castle. Aaron Brody says, whoa, just Please walk back. What tomorrow. happened to Isolde? I, will uh, be by the bridge. I don't know. Diet pills, age, and Bloody Marys. <laughs> in her hair, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I propose. 
I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Uh, yeah, what exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. Do where? I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking uh, Tegan. Tegan, yeah, okay. Uh, so you know, men can watch kill demons and take names. Out. If you can open the gates from within, they can move I'm in. All out of names. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. <laughs> if you choose not to go, then it's up to no, me. No, it's to dumb. Do what sorry. I can. Here is my signature. No, there's a, it's, it's, it's a very funny, uh, like it's such a Whatever juvenile do, joke to play on that line, but it's in if you have to, just it's in Infinity out. War, I think, so the, the it, one else. of them Marvel yeah, movies that you never watch, where Mantis, um, she goes, we're here to, what is it, we're here to kick names and take ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, we must end this evil, no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world, but I will not argue with you. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. <sighs> Getting sleepy? I don't know why. That was a weird yawn. It's not a tired yawn. All right. Another loading screen. Fingers crossed. We should be fine. <laughs> uh Jessica Holbeats, which by the way, excellent name there. Um I wish Child Alistair and Connor would just have a slap fight. <laughs> <laughs> and if only. Uh oh, too bad you can't like force Alistair to kill Connor, because that would be like some weird killing child on child thing that would be kind of funny for me. Uh, well, I mean, look, really he can kill Logan. Fight. We just gotta give him some time. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. Well, hold on, I thought you wanted to recruit I don't know, we can talk about oh, it when we get there. What the heck was that? Oh, uh, what? It's like a weird color thing. I gotta wait. It's gonna take me a minute. Whoa! Hey, everybody. We're at the, we're at the start oh, of... Oh, the game is... I, we, I think we literally just went through all of the files. <laughs> oh, shit. This... Uh... Wow, we have fucked up this game, Jordan. Holy shit. I mean, I give you all of the credit slash blame. That is, uh, it is a special thing oh, there. Oh, man. Because I think what happened was, is that somehow the texture for, like, it has that, like, weird, like, you know, 2000s level of, like, rotating whatever the fuck it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, like, I think all of that still, like, because when you go to a new level, it, like, expands in your face and fades away. It was that, but the textures were replaced with some weird something else. It was bizarre. Man. Oh boy. Okay, well let's uh let's go meet Jowen and see what I did to him cuz ya girl can't remember. <laughs> Five. I feel like this game is just going to be like the mod version of Jenga where you keep trying to keep going and see if the game falls over. Yeah, you 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 like, might not be I'm wrong gonna... there. Oh boy. Okay. The final boss is just an amalgamation of textures trying to reserve reality. You, I know what's coming for the boss fight, and you guys aren't prepared. <laughs> oh god, I don't think we're prepared to be quite honest. It's gonna you be mean really... like for the final for the Archdemon? Yeah, it's gonna be really janky. Let me tell you. Oh boy, I don't, I don't have any doubt that it will. Yeah. Final demon is called Archdemon. Don't you probably close. <laughs> oh, that would be so amazing if someone just like it was even just like a two D like cut out of him, like <laughs> just like T posing as the Archdemon. You don't look like a Mrs. Gods. Are you from oh, outside man, the castle? Only... Why does nobody have a shirt? I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, that was what I did, Joan. Uh, nobody has a shirt because that's a mod that I got. Um, I try to make the male sexy. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. 
this weird half a mage robe. You know, your shoulders get cold, but your belly doesn't. <laughs> uh, all right, possibly. Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they uh, threw me into the dungeon <clears throat> here. Uh, yeah, but you're the one who poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of it. The Arlesa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know Hex it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings <clears throat> in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her uh, During David Gator's talk, he gave the uh, the whole how they came up with Datus as a name for the That's setting. The I didn't I know that. I know there's a bunch of people that did, but I was like, oh, shit. To torment her family and destroy yeah, Rancor. but yeah, no, it is, it's she kind of fun, isn't it? Had me tortured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, there was nothing I could do or say. I, and it's weird, too, because I don't know. Maybe I did know so that I forgot because I had heard him say that rule before about if you're going to use a dummy name, make sure it's terrible. Mm-hmm. But I uh, just didn't know that was the exact story behind it. The I would like DA to see setting because they they make it sound like the other things like that had happened, but I don't know. Like, what else in the Dragon Age universe has like a name that was like like is Nugs? Were they supposed to call it something out? And everyone's like, I don't know, call it Dank Nugs. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, why did you poison our Lehman? I was instructed to by Terran Logain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat I also to want to know the, uh, that if I dealt with him, Logain would settings. suffer matters really with good. the Circle. You see, Jowan is a, a 2000s boy band reject. I mean, you're not mage. wrong. You, a blood mage. Oh, have you seen what's up with Aaron really? Carter? I would never have oh, guessed. God, no, I haven't. I in the oh, yeah, mates, after this, uh, it's, it's, it's too much of a... Of a story, like you Logan need to see it and hear it. He had an interview recently. Uh, I forgot what it was for, but go look up Aaron Carter's newest interview. And that guy, that, that looks like some drug abuse right insanity. Somehow. I have to be quite to. honest. Oh wow, that he got bad. a really bad tattoo of Rihanna on his face. It's oh so no, it's something. Has <laughs> he ever met Rihanna? <laughs> I'm gonna say no, but I don't really know. Holy shit! All right, uh, Jowen. Uh, so the Terran Logain hired hit. Hired you himself. Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It God, was Aaron Carter. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. <laughs> Eamon gave his old money to get a tutor, but she blew all the money on stripper chow, and now she's passing him off as a tutor. <laughs> Oh, that is Claude. Cannon. That's Claude Cannon. That's that Claude is, Cannon. That is official. Oh, man. He and he's like, like the kid that never has a shirt on. It's like, don't worry about the demon. <laughs> he like just got hired onto Thunder Down Under or whatever the fuck it is. And he doesn't, he's not quite sure of himself yet. <laughs> this is a new teaching uh, method. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 it's, it's an interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh no it's so bad. <laughs> that is a great concept that is a great premise um let's see here why did the Arlesa need a maid to tutor her son well she didn't Connor had started to show signs Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training she sought an apostate a mage outside the circle to teach Aaron her Carter took a drug so test and some TV show and tested talent. negatively, apparently. Her husband had no I, idea. Like, those things are time-based. That doesn't mean he destroyed his brain with drugs at one point, though. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, like, and also, <laughs> there's all kinds of different ways to pass drug tests. Yeah. Allegedly. Um... <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta see this now. I mean, I kind of don't want to, because it's just like, man, he was like, for, for a hot second, he was like the poster boy for the, uh, for that archetype, right? Like the blonde-haired, yeah. like, pop kid singing, like, happy no, songs remember, and all that shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you know, as a little kid, all the little girls were like, oh, Aaron Carter, he's so cute. Yeah, yeah, he was on the cover of Mag. He was in a movie with Hilary Duff, right? Or a couple of was them. Really? I, yeah. I would believe that, but I, I, I wasn't. I liked Evanescence and Lincoln Park. Oh, so I, yes, of course. You I didn't that. know about Aaron Carter. I wouldn't be so base in that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Hilary Duff turned out so well, honestly. A lot better than the other child stars. 
Sure. I remember, was it her? We got into a weird thing where I think she's, uh, she's married to Klitschko, or she was. No, no, that was Hayden Panadero. That was Hayden Panadero, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> Dolphins. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, her son is, maybe perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Uh, alright. Arl Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities. Or his wife's habits. Um, no, she was adamant that he never find out. She my son's a man, jail. Right my wife thing, was cheating on me with a young boy. Infuriated her. No, I can no. just imagine Arl Eamon being like, isn't he interpretive dance? Like... Isn't he supposed to be teaching the boy magic? And she's like, he is teaching me magic. <laughs> With his discus dig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, all right. Um, <clears throat> here we go. I see. I think I understand. I never meant. Oh, we don't want to kill like Jowen, by the way. I swear. He should yeah, come with us. He's useful. Let me help you fix yeah. this. I, he's not going to come with us. I but... say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Give me a chance, please. Uh, uh, I think I'll leave you in your cell for now. Yeah, I think that's good. Katie has a Lady Gaga song. I'm aware. And I, will <laughs> I know wait. what I said. If you change uh, your mind, I will do it. <laughs> Isolde loves some Lady Gaga. What's wrong with it, man? <laughs> Katie's like, I know what I've done. Don't question me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I like. I, I don't really like pop music that much. But Lady Gaga can get it. I kind of like some of her stuff. Really? A little bit of Lady yeah. Gaga? I'm never going to judge. Yeah. I mean, I'm into Carly Rae Jepsen, which, by the way, <laughs> that is. No, no, no. I got to correct myself there. That is exquisite pop music. Lady Gaga is not on that level, in my opinion. But oh. I will say, I mean, that is still. It's a guilty pleasure. I mean, I, I know people probably don't think I fall into the Carly Rae demographic, but, you know, it's just so good. It's so fucking catchy. I, I get it. I get it. What do you like about Lady Gaga, though? Is it just like, just kind of get stuck in your head kind um, of thing? That, and they're like, I still I liked, I, even though there was a lot of songs I didn't like. Like, I really didn't like the song Telephone or like Judas or something like that. But like, I, I did like the, the, the weirdness of the music video. And so that was kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Songs like Alejandro, which is just a really dumb song, but it gets stuck in my head. Like, <laughs> so I was like, Alejandro, Alejandro. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just dumb. It's just dumb fun. You know what I mean? So, and she can, she can actually sing. So like watching her live, not, I have not been to her concert, but uh, watching some videos of her live is like, all right, she's, she's talented. She got this. Like, I, I respect that more than like a, um, uh, a Britney Spears or, uh, you know, Christina Aguilera. These are all really dated pop stars. Jesus. <laughs> Who's popular now? I mean, I will say, I, I also think, you know, I think <laughs> Katy Perry has had a couple of, like, good songs that I, I can see why they're popular. It's not necessarily the thing I'm going to go to first, but I can see it and go, okay, she's kind of hitting on a weird kind of cultural zeitgeist that people have hit on before, but she's doing mm -hmm. it this time. And mm -hmm. um, I also, again, props to Katy Perry. I think she's funny. Uh, I, I'm not saying like she's writing the material. I think she can deliver. I think if she did more like movies, I think she can pull off funny. She's got good delivery. She's got good timing. I don't know. Cause there, there was that one, I forgot what the song is, but it's like the music video is like her in a basketball court. And I just cringed through that entire song. I don't know. I, Katy Perry stuff always came across to me as like too try hard, but yeah. In I a stick, in a stick sort of way. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, that that being said, like I haven't really seen that much of Katy Perry stuff. So like, if you've seen a lot of her stuff and you think it works, then I'll I'll <clears throat> I'll uh oh no, <laughs> there's a gnat in my water. <laughs> oh. God, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Uh, someone said Lizzo songs are bops. Lizzo songs are bops. Um, that again, not really into pop music, but it's they are very fun. Um, is this the corpse of Caitlyn? Oh, yeah. There was a mod to make the corpses there, even if, uh, 
even if they, <laughs> they weren't supposed to be, and I was like, yeah, that Oops. could be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay. <laughs> That was a Katy Perry fan. I think the game was a Katy Perry fan. Fucking down goes Frazier. All right. All right. Well, that was... We are going to restart the game now. Uh, Caitlin is the blacksmith's daughter that we got to find. Wait, no. Caitlin is the uh, the boy's sister. Oh, fuck. You're right. Who's the, the blacksmith's la- daughter? Val- Valena? Valena? Valena. Yeah, Valena. Okay, never mind. I leveled up! Ah! Oh, wait, what happened? No, I leveled up. It's a good thing. It's like, just take it forever. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, actually, for it lasting like a good almost about an hour, 40 minutes to 50 minutes, like I thought we'd be crashing sooner than that, to be quite honest. Good on the game. Keeping it together. It took all it took, and it couldn't take no more. Okay, ah, crap. All right, so not terrible, Uh-oh. but not great as far as how much time we lost. Get away from I me. mean, we didn't lose. I mean, it, it, it loaded up faster. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. We'll have to talk to John again. We'll just skip through it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let's just kill the fuck out of these things. Yeah, with the little Hello? whatever mod. Who's there? The kill all mod. Is there anyone alive out there? <laughs> <clears throat> Frozen, uh, Wait, Frozen Berry like Cupcake says Dragon Age gods. Origins wasn't prepared for this mod gangbang. <laughs> You've spoken to her? I'm not proud of my deed. Poison. At first, that she had me. All right, Jowen, we get the point. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Oh, Every- boy. I thought he oh, maybe like to end the episode, right you can go Google Aaron Carter. I, At least Aaron Carter's terrible Raymond new tattoo. That'd be a fun nation. end of the episode. Why would <clears throat> she sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle? I say, give me a chance, please. All right, uh, leaving Jowen in the cell. And I will wait. Making another save file this time, and now we can continue on. Yeah, Aaron Carter tattoo. I mean, you know, I'm 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 down to see that. I, on the one hand, I do kind of. I don't know. I guess laugh is it sounds mean, but I do kind of laugh the same way everyone else does when you see that sort of train wreck of some old celebrity. But at the other on the other hand, like I'm starting to get kind of sad. It's definitely sad, but I, I feel like at the same time it's a warning sign from the kids. You know what? Maybe you don't know. famous. <laughs> that that's very true. I mean I don't know how true this is or if this is a PR thing or what it is, but apparently Bieber is really trying to straighten himself out now. I heard that, yeah. He recently got married too, I think, to some girl. Yeah, and, uh, you know, good for him, I guess. I mean, it's easy to be cynical about that and say, like, ah, oh, it's all just a show or he doesn't really mean it, but, you know, hopefully he does get a chance to mature. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not gonna shit on someone trying to redeem themselves. Like, you know what, you, you, you acknowledge... You did some shitty things. Now you're trying to better yourself. Yeah, and then also, I mean, look, uh, neither one of us has any clue what it's like to be mega famous at 13 years old or whatever it was. Um, that's that's got to be a tough. I, I imagine nobody can grow up normal and well adjusted under those circumstances. Especially with, um, I'm sure like there's a lot of like parent infighting about money. Crap. Okay, this thing just died again. Uh oh. So, not sure. Do we want to, um, did you save in between now and talking to Jowen, or now I'll have to do that again? Yeah, no, I've got to save right before that fight starts. Okay, maybe, uh, start doing the, um, kill all mod and see if that, that helps things. That is a good point. Someone says that all they know about Bieber's wife is that she was a massive stan of his, which, by the way, oh. I think that might be my least favorite piece of lingo jargon, th- is the whole stan thing. Yeah, because I thought, like, wasn't stan, like, a bad character in that song? Isn't that what it's from? I guess it's it's supposed to be a, a, a reference to, like, an over-enthusiastic fan. 
Well, I like it's. I thought it was a, a reference to that Eminem song where there's a guy called yeah. Stan. Yeah. Yeah, that's what and I mean. Then, like, like, at the end, he like, far. yeah, he goes too far. So like, I thought it was supposed to be a negative thing, but now people are like, oh, I stan. We stan a good queen or whatever the fuck they say. Yeah, it's so. like a, it's like a hyperbolic term for for fan. Yeah, I don't know. Um, not my favorite though, just because it's such an out of date reference, and it's just also like, why? <laughs> Well, yeah, what can I say? Like, guys use whatever lingo you want. I don't give a shit. But, the, the, like, that song came out, like, ten years ago. That's a little late to start <laughs> using this. <laughs> it's it's quite a while ago. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, God. I th I don't... Link, like, new lingo stuff doesn't bother me as much. Just because, like... I don't know. Can't just have fun with the language. It's whatever. A lot of times it's fun. What do yeah, you a lot of times. Like, even I use some, like lingo stuff but there there has been stuff that annoyed me like i remember when like abbreviations were really popular and like the store like like oh totes adorbs and like that kind of bullshit like that yeah, I am. annoys me but I, I don't know it happens yeah <laughs> it happens um i just the stand thing popped up and it's just it feels like it went from i didn't notice it to it's everywhere really quick and i was like oh boy. yeah yeah there's a thing <clears throat> um have fun folks did uh did it you're not crashing it everything's all right didn't crash so i think that that worked effectively i would definitely save after this <laughs> i have i have saved again so we're at 150 should i maybe look up a little bit of aaron carter or is it too soon for that um no i think we're at a good time to uh like we got past the part we were crashing at so i think this is a good yeah stay tuned yeah because we're about to get to a lot of fighting stuff so we might as well start when before whatever all right once again as always let's go ahead and make another hard as diamonds save and uh and call it there so aaron carter uh all right i don't know if i'm prepared for this but we will go ahead and uh, take a look i'm very excited now someone said that they saw an article where aaron carter kissed his mom i have not heard of that so that's gonna be good uh Oh, I guess it would help if I actually streamed that for people also. Yeah, if I we could we could uh, see some of that. That way we can all all uh, all, all right, you should all be able to see that now. Uh, give it a minute. Okay, I see Google now. All right, so we got well first of all, the autocomplete <laughs> is it, that's a thing on all its own. Aaron Carter face tattoo. Aaron Carter net worth. A couple down the list. Aaron Carter's sister dies. Did his sister die? I I don't know. Did she? Well, uh, see, this is the thing about this is the thing about this stuff, right? Uh, Aaron's sister Leslie passed away in 2012 from a drug overdose. Uh -huh. It's really tough. Uh -huh. And you see, that's the thing. You see someone in this situation, and you got to think, well, what leads someone to go down that road? You know? Yeah, but still, like this tattoo is recent, and like 2012 was quite a while ago. You know? Oh like that. no! <laughs> you saw it. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. First of all, yeah. like, first of all, you're taking mirror selfies. There's already some questionable decisions going on there, homeboy. Also, like, it's not a good tattoo. Like, you... I Maybe he's not rolling in it anymore, but man, like... This, uh, this is, uh, this is interesting. Do you think he's still... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I don't think he's, like, uber rich anymore, but, like... Ah, boy. Maybe it's not as uh, maybe it's not as bad as it could be, but it's still it's still pretty it's rough. A, it's pretty bad. I think the only it, it could only get worse if it was like really lewd in some way. Like mm -hmm. the drawing is really bad. I think uh you know what? I don't know, man. Maybe Aaron Carter's enjoying his life. That's that's what it comes down to, right? <laughs> maybe Aaron Carter's having a good time. Maybe a little bit too much though. Like that Every everything in moderation for sure. Um, that's definitely true. I, I would say like, as long as he's enjoying his life and he's being safe. But I don't know how safe he's being if he's taking a bunch of drugs. I mean, who knows? Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Yeah. You know, on a side note, who I like just found like newfound respect for, and I think he was definitely on that path of like, holy shit, this guy has lost his mind. Have I'm you gonna guess Macaulay Culkin. Good guess, because actually I thought Macaulay Culkin for a long time Ooh. has been okay. Also, God, there's so many of these. These are not the ones I was going to mention. Macaulay, okay. Macaulay Culkin seems like he, he's come out on the other side, so to speak. He's sort of an okay uh -huh. guy now. Shia LaBeouf, I think he's getting there. Uh, I think, he's I think, still kind of nuts, though. I think he's in the process of trying to recover and like find a <laughs> place fair. find a place for him to be in life. I think he's okay, but... 
have you listened to the Mike Tyson podcast? <clears throat> There's a Mike Tyson podcast? He has a whole podcast, and he hosts it with another guy, but he's, like, the host, and he's oddly articulate. Like, he's really, like, he's not the Mike Tyson of the 80s and 90s or even the 2000s that you remember where he's just, like, you know, at, at one point he was talking to a trash talker during a press conference and basically threatened to rape the guy. Like, it was just ridiculous. Like, he was just such a... Holy shit. Such a bully, right? Like, this maniacal guy. And he's on his podcast the other day talking about how, like, he's just got this really introspective, sort of reflective vibe to the fact that he made his living through so much violence. And he's smoking a ton of weed. And he's <laughs> just, like, so chill now. It's really weird. I mean, good for him, I guess. Also, someone asked you who uh, Aaron Carter was. Aaron Carter was just, like, a... He what well, how old is he? Like maybe 14, 15 year old pop singer that was mm -hmm. got popular with a teeny he, like the Justin Bieber of the nineteen ninety nine, maybe <laughs> two thousand, something like that. Anyway, but yeah, I guess good for Mike Tyson. I guess. Yeah, I only listened to like half an episode, but I was like, man, this dude is like really chill and, and seems mm -hmm. to have like a really good amount of self awareness. Like he totally understands that, you know. Like, just talking about his own fear. He's just like, I was afraid. Like, I was afraid. Like, somebody jumped me once when I was a little kid and all that stuff about how I was the baddest and I was the toughest. He goes, I was just a scared little boy. Like, I was trying to act tough. I didn't have a father. I didn't know what real manhood was. And I was trying to Aww. get all these trappings of, like, toughness and money and women. He goes, like, I was just basic. That it was. I was acting out my pain and stuff like that. And I'm like, this dude has, number one, gotten some really good therapy and also <laughs> some really good weed. <laughs> You know what? Good for him. I can't blame that. You know, good for him. Yeah. So there you go. Mike Tyson, Aaron Carter. There's still hope for you, bro. <laughs> God, I hope so. Unfortunately, that hopefully that tattoo can be removed easily because it's it's not even good. You know, if it was good, then maybe guys, if you ever if you can only take one thing away from this podcast or anything we do, don't get a face tattoo. It's never worth <laughs> it. I've never seen a face tattoo and go, you know what? It's kind of sick. No, they're all been terrible and trashy. All of them. Even yeah, the, Mike Tyson says. I was about to say, the weird thing is Mike Tyson also has a questionable face tattoo. Yeah, and it's not good. <laughs> Don't get it. It's not good, but by comparison, man, questionable face tattoo game has only gotten so much stronger, apparently, since That's Mike true. got his. Yeah, Mike's tattoos looks classy compared to the other one, which is hard to do. <laughs> Because you look at Aaron Carter's or like fucking, what's his name? Post Malone with the whatever happened oh, to him. Oh, God, it's just <laughs> terrible. Yeah, like a lot of a lot of the SoundCloud rappers. Yeah, anyway, uh, we should probably go now instead of uh, talking about the good old days when face tattoos were <laughs> The good old still days of face tattoos. <laughs> good old days of face tattoos. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, everybody, have a great weekend. We will be, uh, are we back next Saturday? Uh, yeah, right? Yes, I think so. I, I'm good for next Saturday. So, yeah, we should be back next Saturday. Uh, everyone have a wonderful week. Stay cool. Stay beautiful. And uh, don't get face tattoos. Don't get face tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.